eh, I just want to address Van uh, Warakuti Nelson Chamisha eh, is a coward for quitting M, uh, the party, for quitting Triple C, and for resigning as Triple C. Uh, there are so many people that are calling him names. Vamwa Chiti Makawa, a good leader, does not jump the sheep. So many things have been spoken against him. But one thing um, that these very some people are dismissing is their role in that whole scenario. For instance, if we look at meeting Yagaitwana Walshman Ngube, this recently ended meeting Yavaita Wana Ngube, follow the pattern. By independence, we saw the same crew moving together of Walshman Ngube, Tendai Biti, Epmochi Ziva, Jacob Mafume, uh, and their hangers on. They are cabals, Nana Wende, Nana Kadimaunga. We saw them at very various guns. are international event. So these guys, they must attend because independent is a national event. But we say no. Independent is supposed to be an, a national event. Heroes Day is supposed to be a national event. Defense Forces Day is supposed to be a national day. But the problem that we have in Zimbabwe is that those days have been personified by ZANU PF. They actually conduct their rallies on that day. How do you attend an independent celebration? You know, see that ZANU PF, you better go to the Pamperin ZANU PF. You better go to the Pass Nachamisa, Pass Nemoana Zimbabwe. Imagine a citizen of the country, and on the Pass Nachamisa, Pass Ne, and Pass Nemandu. And then we have a question here, Kupun, that is like a mandine nge jita urwa, but independent celebration whereby we are celebrating the dawn of the democracy, ye nyika, paduruku pendirira, kuwe ya kukwerusu nungu kwe ne, 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 urimende, ye, 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 gutar zinji, ye, urimende ya jekerere, ipa apo, dupo panosika pa chinji, pasina chamisa, Cannot pass no one away in Babuki. Is it a man of Baba Nigger and pass nigh? Pass celebration your democracy. And then we say we are a democratic country. We need to introspect. Then we have our leaders going there, attending the, 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 the rally, come independent celebration, and we see them again with that same setting at Maurice's with wife funeral. What is Dana? What it was, you know, the funeral, Yakapi, the Srayava, a convergence of questionable characters. It was no longer a funeral. It was now a battleground of ideologies. It was now a battleground of personalities. It was now a battleground for verification and for validation, for public verification and public validation. Those are the funeral, Pamuris, we saw. The political players uh to play out a charade, a facade, a funeral per moon to try and convince Vano Zimbabwe could know we we were all together in good books with Maurice's with why. Uh, you may so rest in peace. It's unfortunate what you, you can run the race, but it is the ending that matters. Maurice is I finished the race on a bad note. I got to get sir. Because our peace of mind share on a good time in the gonzo. Those who want to wind at the other side, and then yes, when I need our fawanaka, but let the truth prevail. Daraga so peace right to get sir. Because I could go to my job, I am pale and I got angry and I'm daraga don't go to bed and time when I chop bang on the Then he went back. So, what I'm trying to address here, I want to dispel the myth, Yekunzi, Nelson Chamisha is a coward. We need to rethink. What's the new band that the CCC was created in 2018? And then in 2019, we went to the Congress, but the Congress was done under MDC Alliance Party. In 2019 Congress, 
And then the COVID judgment ended over the party to Douglas Mondora, and they nullified the Congress of 2019. So, in other words, Nelson Chamisa had no party. There was no more party called MDC Alliance because it was nullified by the COVID-19 judgment. Yaka piwa mo COVID year. Yataka pesra tawana musangano MDC Alliance uchi parado uchi tuwa ended over to Douglas Mondora. So, ati ziva na wakuta wada kuti triple C you know, some of structures the MDC Alliance at 2019, because there was no more MDC Alliance after that judgment. That is why, on 22 January 2022, Nelson Chamisa launches a party and he call it a new party. He go back and revisit his speech. I don't know that it is a new party. At the other is the Alliance, at the other is the MDC. We are now talking of a new party, 22 January 2022. Meaning that we had moved away from MDC Alliance because there uh, are guru and Nicaragua Tonga Kuti MDC Alliance are Ipo, the Congress are recognized and it be part now belong to Toko Zanukupe and Douglas Mondora. Nana Komich, who then went to have their extraordinary Congress and they contested my election at 26 March 2022. As MDC Alliance, Douglas Monzora, I cannot contest my elections. You are you at 26 March 20, uh, 2022 as MDC Alliance. Then, Vacha Misa Vagatunga Mira CCC, I can contest the same by election as Triple C, which means we had already moved away from MDC Alliance, which meant that we are now two distinct different movement mdc alliance ya 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 va monzora and then triple c ya ya va chamisa now you have was no be coming to say could our structures are modeled around the structures of mdc alliance at 2019 congress in other words you are taking us back to the same problem ya va ya ka create kwa natoko san kupe and the constitutional judgment which ended the battle and Douglas Mondora. So in other words, we will be going back again, taking the party back to Tokozano Kupe and Douglas Mondora. And now we are we have to submit to the leadership of 2014 Congress, which is madness. Because on 22 January 2022, Nelson Chamisa clearly stated that we are a new movement code citizen coalition for change we had moved away from mdc alliance there was no more part called mdc alliance and these guys they did not dispute that nobody disputed that and i want to point out the fact that taka zoyenda kuma elections at 26 march 2022 the by election tendai bt himself contested in Arare East is MP for Citizens Coalition for Change, Tendai Bidi himself. He was an MP candidate for Arare East under Triple C. Epmochi Diva Bondo, he also contested for High Food West as a candidate MP for Triple C. We saw the same thing happening on Wednesday. All the guys that were recalled, Takawa Ona Machi contest under the banner of Triple C as my MP on 26 March uh, 2022. And they went back into the parliament, these guys. <laughs> then most of them are with a convergence now, and they tell you, Kuti, our CCC party is structured around MDC Alliance at 2019. But on 26 March, after Nelson Chamisa gave a speech on the launch to say we are a new movement, they contested in the new movement under the banner of Triple C. The same people. They have a good one. 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 They have a Right, Zip Bumerano says, Vagaita Vagaita says, Bumerano, in the Citizen National Assembly, which were not private to the public. Vaga created my cluster leadership, Vagata Miguazo, 
and they disseminated that information to all the structures to say this is now the new mode of operation. And when I Zimbabwe, they said they followed suit and they supported them, they rallied behind them. But in Matibele land, we started having a problem of regional politics. The one who was Mangube, who felt he was the one who is supposed to dictate <laughs> the, 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 the vote in Matibele land, who enters and who does not. So these guys, they used the tribalism, Wakatango Shansa tribalism, to galvanize support in Matibele land and whip up emotions of the Mbele people to work against the perceived Shona leadership in Matebele land. So we have a problem whereby what we have in the MDC Green, there is a group in the GCC national platform where they were talking about these things on a daily basis and on a tribal card, these guys. March 2022, they were already talking about the plan to topo on and Chamisa. In their groups. And what Mangube is in those groups up to now. And he, you keep quiet because they will be caucusing come private. So Ngenzo Chabangu was then in Matebelele North, trying to wrestle Matebelele North from print to Bigos Banda. So that they will install Gebuza. And they failed. So they perceived the print to Bego Sibanda as the main one else on Chamisa. And they did not want that. So they fought him. And they went to Nkai. They did the same thing. They wanted to install their people. And they were fighting with Jabu Hadebe. So these guys, they lost the fight in Nkai. They lost the fight in Matebele and not. They failed to remove print to Beko. They failed to remove uh, Jabu Hadebe. They went to Matebele and South. They tried the same thing. They failed. They went to Bulawayo Central. And they found my giant. Kuni my giant in Bulawayo. Boys, remember, Bulawayo was now the hotbed of the Cobra Gang. Yangaya was Yakasiwa during the time of the rebellion of Tokosan Kupe. So you find that Kuni Makoma na Marikwa, Wana Ostalos. Wana Eric Gono, Wana Tepiso, Wakoma na Naskana, Wana Nicola Watson. These guys were perceived as Nelson Jamisa's loyalist. And what men knew the highway when they ran, they were idle to a pindi, but they were raw from a primary. So Senghenzo's job was now to sign the double candidate at the instruction of the regional leaders of Matebele Land. It had nothing to do with Nelson Jamisa. And one thing people do not um seem to acknowledge is that Senghenzo Jabangu was working for Wales Mengube as a messenger at this law firm. Mfese Aishandra Wales Mengube, every messenger, basa kwa Wales Mengube, Senghenzo Jabangu. So the other thing is that the is a lie. Then what happened now? They plotted a plan to remove the guy. So we are going to double candidate to the Belenland. The guy on the decent Bajila, I'm coming Bajila. We are going to list the provincial representative, the proportional list, the representative representative. I'm coming Bajila. We are going to list because he had been given that list. It was signed by Wolfman Mude. That's why Blawai is still not a proportional representative at provincial level. Because of all that turned off, we are going to one double candidate coming from the West Nubes camp. But today they want to tell you could he tribalism. Yet you know, these guys are the actual tribalists. So we had that problem, which culminated in the recall of the 10 guys, in the barring of the 10 guys from contesting Wagano in a court, and then they were able to contest. And then Sangan Chabang started recalling them after the election. It was a plan that was already hedged. Never face you are. Then when I when I when I tend to be driving the morning after, Chavez the morning after. Chavez got to Gazira. Come on, you go through the problem. You are not so dog. You are not party. You are not division. Go. But here, I have Operation Snowball to undermine the leadership and the legitimacy of Nelson Chamisa. I want to put it on the record. Could in every party you have internal problems. You have. Uh, my disagreement, but those disagreements should not be the basis for the destruction of the party. Is put it out to vote. Kote party na kuti mimi ati skuri ane mo onwata rwana ningi. 
I'm one of the people who was advocating strongly for the structures. I advocated for primary election. I was not receptive to the idea of the structures. I viewed it as undemocratic. And I viewed the primary, the, the Beregamana is undemocratic. The consensus route, I did not agree with it. But because it was what the majority wanted, including the people that are now complaining, those I do want to change. Because I want to say, I want to those of us, I did know we are going structurally, we are going in a chair, we told them could it undemocratic. We found them day and night telling that guy, guys, that route is not democratic. But they weren't that route. Still, despite our reservation, despite our disagreement, despite our opinion, that our campaign from Sangano, Sagadaro, we still campaigned from Sangano. We still supported my candidate. You are a Chagabud and Berekamana, Takama supporter. We still beg them up. Why? For the greater good. Because this thing is bigger than us. It is about the freedom of the people. It is about the freedom of the Zimbabwean. It is about the fight for change, the fight for freedom. That's what we are fighting for. So we realize, no. This thing is bigger than us. So our sentiment should not carry the day. But the freedom of the people is of the utmost importance. So let us break whatever method that is. As long as it is as an OPF. That's what we did. And we begged the party. We supported the party. We pushed for the party. Meanwhile, when I beat my underminer party. Fact forward, my election, I hit let me go back. Wakuma na wapinda parliament after 26 March by election. The vapaid wa ma 40,000 dollar loan ay. Chamisa kwa wau that musato remari dozo. Waga ita naro. And they rebelled against him. Waga tora mari dozo. So the people were angry and were ready to punish my MP. Waga tora naro. Those are the primary primary election. It was Nelson Chamisa Ango Mungo Vati Mimi at the primary election. No, these things are discussed. One was discussed and put it out to vote. But the people were angry. They were angry. They were angry. They were angry. They were angry. were angry. So despite the narrative of the government, they were not going to be a primary election. They advocated for, for my, my, my structure. They advocated for the government. Even the very same people, because they knew good if they go squarely and fairly in the primary election, the people were angry, they were going to remove them. So that they were hoping could a uh, consensus, they were going to be imposed on the people. But still, on the Berikamana, the people they had a thought, they were still removed. That's what made them angry. They were hoping could one go joga because of popularity. But when I got that time, we have 40,000, they have be square. And then they even became more angry. And now, instead of getting angry by themselves, they were they got angry against Nelson Chamisa. Then we went to the election. <laughs> but my forty thousand, what I'm coming about that Musa my forty thousand. After my election, preliminary report Rabu Dam twenty five. Chamisa got a Rogomana Parliament apana. I think I do parliament. So they had their own committee of the elected MPs where they went and said and they agreed that we are going to parliament. Because Chamisa is not elected. So they went to parliament. A great advice on you know, Chamisa. And then Chabangu started boom. It was then uh, implemented. Chamisa wanyora mudenda tamba kuti ma communication is the go through me. Mudenda chose to ignore Chamisa and entertained Chabangu. So Zanu PF was now robbed into buy into Chabangu's plan. Because Zanu PF had either two third majority. So they bought into Chabangu's plan. That's why Mudenda enabled Chabangu. Because Zanu PF had either two third majority. And they rebelled. So they ignored Nelson Chamisa and went with Chabangu as the Secretary General. We fake no one chose Secretary General here, even watch me new be this year to Chambang was not the Secretary General. So that was a new period and we're embracing him because he assumed the SG through strategy can be good is a damn lie. In other words, he's simply saying the guy is an imposter. That's what he's saying. He's agreeing with Chabangu is an imposter, but the imposter chawa chavaga evil. Because if you check the recalling pattern, 
dine pata ni adhuruku followa. Wenda jiri mpali ya mende mabeba gei sari tu. Wari mpali ya mende. Mabeba wende ari mpali ya mende. Iyo wajari mpali ya mende. Why were they, why were they not record? You know, you know, you need to scrutinize this. In all this, tendai bita ka aka tisa. Aka fundu wa bauti ya bangu wakata ndumusi. And of course, kanda, in ina vote, nothing to do with that party. I'm minding my own business. That was tendai bita. But in another order, you would have to manage a chunk of paper in the moon. Could you manage to implement a plan? Try to pay the moon. The idea was to get Chamisa arrested. What about my record? The triple C. What about my document? The triple C. The idea was to get him arrested. But I'm not going to do my job. I'm not going to do it. But I want you to know that Chamisa is not a dumb. He's not a fool. I got to find him. Uma election akito dizi wanya dizi dizi ya ma plani sa emas ya ese bata kango di chenga ose mananga pana nerf na moji agadi regas kuri ana sora na sa wit no no sa wal tanga na pakukua so aito dizi ya zese zavai runga wit no sa runga kudoka kwa kupe nothing to do with chamisa it a nube ka bow that enforce the kupe on no son chamisa so chamisa agabu ma boz no sa raida and he was outvoted. You must remember this thing, you know, it was a vote. And they come to the majority. The majority said, we are taking my 40,000 loan. The majority said, we are going to parliament. And when Chabango happened, you told them, Buddha in parliament. Vagaramba. And they disengaged. We had a press conference and we disengaged. And I was telling But what happened? The following day, Takawa won't have a parliament. So Chamisa realized that he had lost political power. I want you to answer Kuti. How do you lead one? I know that my 40,000 loan uh, is a trip. How do you lead one? I know that my election even Sadak for the first time is condemning my election. to protect our autonomous zone. How do you lead one? I know record an imposter and they still go to parliament regardless of you advising them to disengage. And then they start asking you to write a letter to condemn Chabangu. Yet you guys, you are not listening to what the leader is saying. How do you lead such people? But when he realized that he had lost political power, so whatever he was saying was not going to be entertained as the president of, of the executive, even if he implemented his executive power, no one was going to entertain him. Papa So he resigned. So calling me coward is misplaced. He simply did the right thing to say, no, you guys got with the expectation that you have to choose a new leader so that you implement your ideals. You will believe in your principles. I cannot continue like this. And then he stepped out of the platform and you call him a coward. My coward dream. Because you cannot justify a few people eating at the expense of the masses. And you call your leader a coward simply because he refused to be bought. Then I'm going to this. George Jaramba clearly come out and say, Nelson Chamisa Agaramba the Dura Takamba. Nelson Chamisa refused to become the leader of opposition. Angada and a motorcad. Angada had to remember both guys. But he refused. Yet Mondura got Vuma. Where is Mondura now? The electorate punished him. <laughs> so, when I was talking about Chamisa as a coward, you need to think again. And uh, you also need to think again. But I can assure you, among all this rap, the Kassara, a charismatic leader, no one can pull the crowd the way Chamisa does. The people of Zimbabwe believe in the leadership of Nelson Chamisa. And Chamisa is no longer a name. He's now an ideology. He's an idea. He's an, an enigma. He is the hope and is an embodiment of the host and aspiration of the masses. So he is not just a name. The name Chamisa is now an ideology on its own. Not to say we are canonizing moon or that we are praising moon. Ah, we are saying Zuripo. Those Zuripa ground guys. Those Musanye Pirane, you could tell you by a part of Mugoso, Manana, you, and I went out because of mobilize. I got one two million vote. Nana Mube, it full And I want to remind you from 2005, what's my new Oh, okay, you fought with Tangrai and they split the party. Kind of for my MDC Green. We saw the same thing happening in 2013, and I beat fight with. Uh, Tangrai, 
Wakano forma the renewal na nama ngoma Wakano split a wambiru We see the same thing Toko Zan Kupe refusing to sit down And Tangirai and Tangirai died And then she came to the funeral But she rebelled against Morgan Tangirai And then we see the same characters Converging themselves around Nelson Chamisa And canonizing him as a leader Only to rebel again From Nelson Chamisa So we have a situation whereby the same characters are selling out the struggle over and over and over again and repeatedly. So now when they start speaking the unit language, the question is, because my citizens are tired. The citizens are tired. So one thing that you need to realize, you can make elitist decisions. Guys, Matopira. The citizens are going to punish you. The citizens are not going to forgive you. Douglas Monzora is now a champion. Emma, zero. You are going the same route. I want to put it on record today. Kuti, Triple C as a party is finished, just like MDC Alliance. And they bought into ZANU PF, Mandra and Ideals. They are going to be a party. That's why they are quiet. They will never challenge ZANU-PF. They will never challenge ZANU-PF because they are eating with ZANU-PF. When they are going to kiss the size they are getting knife. Size they are going to kiss the draft of them. You must just shut up and enjoy my baby. I got on Pali and I got on Pali and I got Otherwise, we expose him. The citizens are angry. It's also my citizen. Takatama. And the true one and the nyad into this year foot. So let us be let us be very clear. Kuti. Kipati cha washman in church no wake. Zadakwa. And I have a blue movement where we and this young. You need to own a personal notice. Do you know that Moses Aga Kuram Gomogunamata? Moses Aguram Gomogunamata. Aro naga sara ka umbira vana chidoro, chidoro daku na matu, daku na matu. Aka umbira chima umbira kai tanga kuni na matu. So ndi umawone rangu ndi kuti ichi chidoro cha monsi isichi. Chaka umbira. Aze maru. Mirai monsi isa doke mkomo. Do advice and doku sirena. 